Hello everyone. In this, we will understand about how do we use Kolmogorov Smirnov test if there are two samples. So here, uh, a question is there. Two sample data is given. Both sample size is seven only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Equal sample size for both the samples. Uh, we need to test whether they came, came from the same distribution or not. So primarily, we will define the hypothesis that the null hypothesis is both of the samples came from the same distribution. Alternative will be they are not from the same distribution. First, we will freeze on the null and alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis, both samples are drawn from the same distribution. Alternative, the samples are drawn from different distributions. Now what we will do, we are supposed to club these two samples and then arrange it in ascending order. So what we will do, we will consider one Excel sheet where we will first identify these samples, means the sample observations we will key in, and then we will sort this in ascending order. So let us go to the Excel sheet. So here, the same data, sample one data is given here, sample two data is given here. Now we will club these two means, I will copy this, copy this also. Then we will sort this, sort it in ascending order. So when we sort, 1.89 is the least that came on the top, 9 is the largest that came in the bottom. Now we will copy this as, as our values x x values right so these are our x values now uh, we need to check whether this 1.8 in sample 1 how many observations are lesser than 1.8 in sample 1 1.8 itself is not appearing means none of the observations are less than 1.8 less than or equal to 1.8 so it is 0 in sample 1 about 2 it will also be 0 2.5 yes one observation uh, 2.7 again how many observations are lesser than 2.7 in sample 1 only one observation 3.2 two observations 3.8 two observations 4.1 three observations 4.5 three observations 5.3 four observations, 5.5, four observations. Then 6.2, five observations, 7.1, uh, five observations, 8.4, five observations. Now let me once again check one minute. Zero, 1.8, zero observations. Any number of observations in sample one, Lesser than or equal to 1.8, 0, 2 is 0, 2.5, 1, 2.7, 1, 3.2, 2, 3.8, 2, 4.1, 3, then 4.5, 3, 5.3, 4, 5.5, 4, 5.6, 3, then uh, 6.2, 5, right? 7.1, 5, 1 minute, 6.2, is it 4, 5 observations, right, 7.1, it is 6 observations, uh, how many observations are lesser than or equal to 7.1, yeah, count is 6, so 6 observations, 8.4, 7 observations, and then 9, 7 observations, all these are in sample 1. In sample 2, 
how many observations are lesser than or equal to 1.8 one observation uh, two two observations then 2.5 uh, two observations 2.7 three observations 3.2 three observations 3.8 four observations 4.1 uh, we may notice that is also four then 4.5 five observations uh, 5.3 five, five observations 5.5 five, five, six observations 6.2 six, six observations 7.1 six observations 8.4 six observations 9 7 observations that's all right so So now we can easily calculate the, uh, what do you call, empirical cumulative distribution. So values means for sample one, it is how many total observations in each sample seven. So here, zero divided by seven means straight away I can say this divided by seven. So. I can now drag it. Same way for sample two, this divided by the total number of observations, which is seven. So we get 0.143 for the first then we can drag this formula. Okay. Now this is modulus of this uh, F1 and F2, difference between F1 and F2. So it is absolute value of this minus this 0.143. So we will drag this formula here for the rest. Now we may notice that the maximum uh, D value, or oh sorry, the maximum difference value is 0.286. Means among all this, 0.286 is the maximum. So I can now copy this to our Word file. So now we can proceed identifying the critical value. So we have to find the critical value for a two sample uh, Kolmogorov Smirnov test for a significance level of 0 0.05 when the sample one that is N1 uh, size, samples, sample one's size which is N1, sample two size which is N1, both are same, seven. The critical value from the table is what? We will go to the critical value and identify. So when n1 is equal to n2 equal to n, here n is 7 hours. For 0 0.05, it is 0 0.571. So we will go back now. 0 0.571 is the critical value. 0 0.571. Now we can come out with our inference. Since our test statistic D is equal to 0 0.286 is less than the critical value 
which is 0 0.571, we fail to reject the null hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. Hence, based on this test, we do not have enough evidence to conclude that the two samples come from different distributions. Different distributions means we are accepting alternate, uh, sorry, null hypothesis means we are accepting null hypothesis. That is the solution for this particular question.